Hey everyone, it's Ali Ross here again from LinuxNovieGuide.org. Uh, this is the second in our video tutorials, and this time we're going to be talking about how to make the most of your Linux desktop. We'll show you the Ubuntu desktop specifically, uh, all of the applications which come out of the box ready to roll. I'll also show you how to install uh, any other software that you want to. Let's check it out now. Okay, here we are. This is the Ubuntu 8.10 desktop. If you remember last time, we uh, talked about how to install the Ubuntu 8.10 desktop. And now I'm going to just show you around the desktop and let you get familiar with how it differs from, say, for example, a Windows XP or Mac OS desktop. Okay, so first things first. Uh, you might be wondering where your start menu is if you're a Windows user. Your start menu is usually down here and that's where you can get all of your programs or applications. Well, the applications menu is up here. And what, what Ubuntu have done is they've categorized all the software that you might use from time to time. So you can see at the top here we've got accessories, we've got games, graphics, internet software, office related software, uh, sound and video and universal access. So these categories can expand or um, they can be even removed later on if you wish. So um, let's have a look through what you get actually out of the box installation with uh, Ubuntu 8.10. Okay, so first things first, let's have a look in the accessories menu. Accessories gives you a bunch of standard tools such as a text editor, a calculator. Um, it's a pretty basic calculator, but it does the job. Um, in fact, I think it's even got a sort of uh, advanced look here. You can put it onto a uh, more advanced one. There's a scientific and so forth. All right. <clears throat> so we got a calculator in there and we've got various other things like a text editor. So to just launch any of these applications, all you do is you move your mouse over the accessories menu. It drops down and then you click on the uh, specific one that you want. So text editor here, click and that's it. It's open. All right. Nice and easy. Again, games, here's a few games that comes pre-packaged, such as Solitaire, Blackjack, and so forth. With graphics, um, I'll go into a few of these and just show you what we've got. So, for example, F-Spot Photo Manager is kind of like um, Google's, uh, Google's tool, um, Picasa, and there's a few other similar pro programs out there that allow you to touch up and uh, browse through your photos. So F-Spot's pretty similar. I'll just launch that now and show you the general idea with it. Uh, what you get is an option when you first open it to import your photographs to the view. And uh, I've done that with a couple of my photographs. It gives you a timeline which is really nice and easy to view how uh, what date the photos were taken in. For example, uh, this first photo was around sort of 2007 2008 as you can see by this sort of pastel color here and um, you can click on it to get it to become bigger and you can edit the image from there I'll go back to browse again and say I want to go back to 2006 well this photo here was taken in 2006 and um, yeah I can edit that image as well you can do all sorts of things like remove red eye and um, and so forth you can make thumbnails so you can touch up crop your photos all that sort of stuff you can do straight from this software. So it's a really nice piece of software and very easy to use as well. So it's great. Also does slideshows. So if you're showing someone your holiday snaps, great to just click on slideshow there and you get a full screen display of your photographs. So it's a really nice piece of software. Again, it's all free, all comes out the box, ready to go with Ubuntu 8.10. Okay, so we'll go back into um, the graphics menu. GIMP image editor. GIMP stands for the GNU Image Manipulation Project. Again, this is a software piece of, like, piece, piece of software kind of like um, Photoshop by Adobe, except it's a lot less expensive. In fact, again, it's free. So um, let's have a look um, at how to uh, edit a photo for a photograph, for example. So just open up the file browser here from file and open pictures. And there's my, um, there's my sort of view out the window sort of thing there and I can just touch that up, I can you know, put annotations on it, whatever I want to do. So again, very powerful piece of software, there's tons and tons and tons of options in there and that's well beyond the scope of this, um, this tutorial, but it gives you an idea of what software comes with the system, ready to go, really great piece of software that. 
Okay, so I'll just close down there. <clears throat> Let's have a look. We also got open office dog drawing. Now, open office I'm going to come back to when I go on to the office section, but um, just to just to let you know it's part of the full office suite which comes with Ubuntu 8.10 and this allows you to create drawings, flowcharts and logos just as it says there. So it's a, again another powerful piece of vector based graphics software. Xsense image scanners for scanning in images with a flatbed scanner or handheld scanner something like that. Okay. We've also got the internet category. Now this is where all your internet based software. So for example if you have got an instant messenger uh, the account with say MSN or AOL or Yahoo or something like that. Pigeon is a multi uh, um, multi instant messenger client allows you to connect to all of these different chat clients AOL, uh, I, um, MSN and so forth. So if you've got one of those accounts to slap in your username and password and it'll get you straight on to that particular uh, chat. So fantastic again straight out of the box you don't have to install anything it's ready to go. Um, a Kiga soft phone is for calling people with SIP clients or H323. You can do video calls, you can do um, SIP calls, VoIP calls, whatever, um, all through that software and that's installed by default. Evolution is a great uh, full purpose um, mail and calendaring application, so I'll just launch that now. It's kind of like, say, Outlook um, for your PC. I've already set up an account ready to go, as you can see my inbox is here. And then we've got this welcome email in here. And it's just like you would expect from a normal email program. Very straightforward, easy to use. If you want to send receive, you just press the send receive button. You can put all your contacts in here. Again, calendars. So for example, let's have a look down here. I've put in an, an appointment, walk the dog, and it's got some details on that. Let's have a look how that integrates as well with the taskbar up here. So I'll just move over momentarily. Uh, up here you can see that um, it's the date is Monday the 13th of April. If I scroll down here and look at my appointments, I can see that I'm due to walk the dog at 9 p.m. So that's fantastic. That's fully integrated with this application. Um, and just to show you that, I just changed the time there in Evolution and it, it's bumped up to 8.30. So it's fantastic. It's tightly integrated together. There's plenty of examples of well-integrated software within the Ubuntu desktop. So that's the calendar, tasks as well, memos, it's all in there, it's all what you would expect to see. Um, very simple, straightforward to use email program. So that's evolution. Okay, I'll just close that one down. Um, you've got the Firefox web browser. If you aren't aware, where have you been? Um, so if you're still using, like the, for example, Internet Explorer um, or even Safari, sorry, um, Firefox blows them away. It's just a fantastic web browser. Again, it's free. It's, um, it's got all the features that you wanted and it has them first. So, for example, IE6 or, some, or 7, something like that, came along with tabs. Firefox had been doing that forever. So, um, you know, fantastic. It's a really, really great browser and most people are really happy with the Firefox web browser. Once you get into it, you'll, you'll see a great difference in your web browsing. So, um, yeah, that, that's the web browser of choice for me. Um, I'll just close that one down. Again, I'll not, not save the tabs. Um, right, what else have we got here? Uh, you've got a few other things. We've gone through Pigeon. Remote Desktop Viewer allows us to connect to other desktops, which are remote, obviously. Um, again, similar with Terminal Server Client, but that's for more Microsoft desktops. So if you are a remote administrator and you like to connect into other desktops, you can do that with the Terminal Server Client. And also, if you download torrent files and so forth, you can use the Transmission BitTorrent Client yeah, straight away.